Welcome everyone. Now today is a little bit different because we are going to be working on a boat engine as opposed to a car engine and we're going to be doing an oil change which is probably pretty basic to all of you but with a boat engine it's a little bit different. So here are the materials that I'm using on the boat engine. This is a pump to extract the oil. It has a little connector here which actually connects onto the engine and allows us to pump the oil out of the oil pan. We have a typical oil filter wrench. We have the oil filter. Over here we have our oil from Volvo. And before we start the engine we're going to want to hook up our water and there's a port right here to hook the hose into the engine. So I'm going to go ahead and hook the hose up right here. And the reason we're doing this is because we don't want the impeller, this is a crank mounted impeller, we don't want that to run dry. And I'll go through changing that in another video but for now we're just going to do the oil change. Now on the dipstick, this is where our pump connects, and this is where we extract our oil. But before we extract the oil, we're going to want to warm the engine up and get the oil nice and hot so it's easier to come out. And this is our oil filter right here. So everything is very accessible on this engine. Compared to a car, you could say that this is quite a bit easier to change the oil on. Alright, so the hose is now on. Battery is on, and then neutral. So the engine's warmed up, we're going to turn the water off, and then we're going to extract the oil out of this dipstick. Alright, so here is the oil extractor screwed onto the dipstick tube, and then we have the drain pan over there with this hose going to it. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and remove the oil filter. Put some paper towels underneath it. All right, now I'm gonna fill up the oil filter with oil before I screw it on. Now this oil filter seems to take almost a full quart of oil. The other thing we're going to do is spread oil around the lip of the oil filter. Might as well. Yeah, Alright, I think that's good. I'm going to take this off and we'll fill it up now. Alright, so we added oil in through here. We're going to go ahead and start the engine again and then check the oil level. All right, so we put a total of five quarts in. We're gonna check for leaks there and also make sure that we have oil pressure when we start it. So let's go ahead and start it. All told, it took five quarts to fill that up to the max line on the dipstick. I'm gonna go ahead and screw this water inlet back on and then uh, clean up that stuff. 